There once was a lovely lady, just as pretty as the girl next door, who always was attracted to the seashore. She fell in love with Peter Piper, and he left New York City with her. Welcome to Twisted English, where we use tongue twisters to help you learn to pronounce English sounds. I'm your host, Joyce Lanterman. Before we get started, I want to take a few moments to review a great website I found called Hot for English. This site is maintained by Marina Orlova, a Russian philology professor, which is practically a tongue twister right there, who posts a video podcast about etymology. In each episode, Marina takes word requests from her viewers and discusses their meanings and origins. If this sounds boring to you, you need to get right over to www.hotforenglish.com. That's h o t f o r e n g l i s h dot com for a sample of Marina's great combination of humor, sex appeal, and linguistics. Today we'll be working on a very tricky set of sounds: v, as in that, and th, as in thing. To make both of these sounds, place your tongue just behind or slightly between your front teeth. For th, as in thing, just blow air straight out. Th. For th, as in that, buzz your voice a little as the air comes out. Th. Our first tongue twister highlights the th sound, as in thing. Here it is quickly. Three thin thieves thought a thousand thoughts. It's pretty tough, huh? I'll slow it down for you. Remember, you can pause the podcast at any time to practice repeating the tongue twisters. Three thin thieves thought a thousand thoughts, and here it is, one word at a time. Three thin thieves thought a thousand thoughts. You'll notice that the first word three has an added challenge. It's pretty hard to get the th sound out and follow it quickly with er. Practice it slowly. Th, er, e, three, three. Now that you've got that one, let's move on to our second tongue twister. This one highlights the th sound, as in that. Ready? Red leather weathers the weather better than yellow leather. Okay, that one's just crazy. Here it is more slowly. Red leather weathers the weather better than yellow leather. And one word at a time. Red leather weathers the weather better than yellow leather. There are two interesting things to think about here. One is that th appears more often in the middle of words than at the beginning, as in leather and weather, and also words like mother and father. The other interesting thing is a grammar point. Notice that weather can be used both as a noun, meaning rain, sun, snow, etc., and as a verb, meaning to last through a situation such as the weather. Okay, now let's mix those sounds up. Our third tongue twister includes both th as in that and th as in thing. See if you can hear the difference. This thing and that thing are better than those things. Here it is more slowly. This thing and that thing are better than those things. One word at a time. This thing and that thing are better than those things. Now she sells seashells by the seashore. And, red leather, yellow leather, and now leather, it's time leather, for Tongue Tangled, the portion of the show where, just for fun, we feature a tongue twister in a language other than English. Today I've invited Alex Arce of Fremont, California, to give us a tongue twister in Spanish. Alex is a native Spanish speaker from Costa Rica, where tongue twisters are called trabalenguas. I'll let him explain further. Hi there. I'm going to cover a few things about tongue twisters in Spanish. First off, the Spanish word for a tongue twister is trabalenguas. Trabar is the Spanish word for jam, as in a paper jam on your printer. So the term literally translates back as tongue jammer. The first one is based on the notion of homophones, which are common in Spanish given our complex system of conjugation. Si yo como, como, como. Y tú comes, como, comes. Como, comes, como, como. Si yo como, como, como. This one plays on the word como as how and como as eat. It means, if I eat like I eat, 
and you eat like you eat, how do you eat like I eat, if I eat like I eat? Muchas gracias, Alex. If anyone listening has a tongue twister you'd like to submit, go to www.twistedenglish.com, click the Contact Joyce link, and follow the prompts to upload a sound file. We'll feature one non-English tongue twister in each episode. And she wears a pair of pink, pretty, frilly, fluffy pumpers. And remember as when Peter Piper picked a quick peck of pickled peppers. Yes, it's that time again. Welcome to the Tongue Twister Tourney. Last month, we featured tongue twisters focusing on the s sound, as in snake. Listener Marie Whitlock of Summers Point, New Jersey, sent me this one. Silly Sally sat safely on Sadie's sage suede sofa. Slowing that down a bit, that's Silly Sally sat safely on Sadie's sage suede sofa. Short, sweet, and simple, but hey, some of the best things are. Thanks, Marie. If you want to enter the tongue twister tourney, try your hand at writing your own tongue twister, highlighting the same sounds we worked on today. Just go to www.twistedenglish.com and click the Tongue Twister Tourney link for instructions. Well, that's about it for today. To recap, our tongue twisters today were Three Thin Thieves Thought a Thousand Thoughts, Red Leather Weathers the Weather Better Than Yellow Leather, and This Thing and That Thing Are Better Than Those Things. Remember, you can find transcripts of these tongue twisters and any others from past episodes at our website, www.twistedenglish.com. Once again, I'd like to thank Eddie Lemberger for granting permission to use the tongue twister song as our theme music. You can purchase Eddie's CD, Eddie J's Fun Songs for Kids, at his website, www.eddyj.com. That's www.eddyj.com. Thanks for listening. Questions and feedback are always welcome at twistedenglish at gmail.com. I'm Joyce Lanterman, reminding you, don't languish in language anguish, listen to Twisted English. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Here we go. She sells seashells by the seashore, and red leather, yellow leather, red leather goods comes from New York, from a unique New York neighborhood. She sells rubber baby buggy pumpers, and she wears a pair of pink pretty frilly fluffy pumpers, and remember as when Peter Piper picked a quick peck of pickled peppers. And she was always amazed at his ability Oh, the tongue twister song, you didn't fool me And I'm as happy as can be Yeah!